Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Today we are here with uh, what? What was the topic today? <laughs> yes, something similar could happen because Mercury is going to transit in the sign of Cancer, and you know, Mercury is the planet that likes logic, and Cancer is the planet that does not like logic. It's the sign. Sorry. <laughs> so imagine a planet which likes logic is coming into a sign which does not like logic. Hmm, how does it look like? Well, there could be confusion, there could be bewilderment and there could be challenges. But we will study today for every ascendant what could uh, what could occur. All right. So therefore, if you're new, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If, uh, th thumbs up if you like the video, of course. <laughs> And share it with somebody who is concerned about this Mercury's transit. And for personalized consultations, you will find my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him. Now, for Aries Ascendants, Lord of the 3rd house and 6th house. So 3rd house shows your communication, siblings. 6th uh, house is your enemies, your debt. And this transit is in your 4th house. Mm -hmm. What's 4th house? See, for Aries, this is interesting. It is a, the Kalpurush Kundli. So everything is as per order, right? So you might face this effect more, a bit more, okay? So it's transiting in your 4th house, which is the house of your mother, your home, your inner peace. So... There could be a requirement of enhanced communication with your uh, family members. Uh, there could be some potential issues which you might to solve in your family. Okay, there could be some issues related to finances because Mercury is also the card of finances. So and there could be some home loan related issue, car loan related issue, you know, anything that uh, is that that. Any, anything that is related to the home, basically. You might make some new purchases. That There could be some expenditure because of that. And uh, now you may realize that you may need to focus more on the internal piece. Okay. So sixth lord transiting the fourth house. So some loan element is there, as I said. And third lord can bring some instability. All right. So overall, focus on your home. Focus on your loans if required. All right. <laughs> And I think focus on proper communication with your family members. You will do good, right? All the best, Aries. So now for Taurus, this transit uh, is in your third house. So Mercury is the lord of your second house, which shows your family wealth, you know, your net worth, your self-worth, okay? And also the fifth house of creativity, children, love affairs and all this. So now, this could lead to improved uh, communication in general with anybody because third house is any kind of communication. Uh, but this will be related to your hobbies and creativity. And also, you might be doing some research. You know, third house is some initial research that you do on topics that you want to know more about. So you might do some research on, you know, some things like stock market, crypto or real estate, you know, where you can invest your money more. You could also do some relation, some research on you know personal relationships. So, for example, if your relationship with your father or mother or son or daughter or with your spouse is not the best, then maybe you you can see you know how to have a better relationship, how to understand people from their perspective. And there could be short distance travels, uh, where you might you know go to a vacation uh, with your family members or with your children especially, and. You know, second law transiting the third it's a great time to crack some interview okay so new dimensions opportunities for finances could open up and focus on communication and take the travel if required and don't forget to be creative all right all the best taurus now we go to gemini so for gemini this is in your lagna i mean your lagna lord is transiting in your second house right and he's also the lord of your fourth house so Laknesh and fourth lord transiting the second house. So this is the time you will focus on building your wealth and your uh, net worth, your self-worth also, okay? So your focus will be on family matters and financial stability. So when this transit occurs in the second house, if you are not having a job, then it might be a good time for you to find a new job, okay? It might help you there. 
and there could be potential increase in wealth through you know investment uh, any kind of investments or uh, any kind of consulting basically okay um, because mercury is the karka for consulting and when it is transiting in your second house which is the house of wealth so you might get some opportunity for public speaking or consulting or something uh, in the similar lines and of course the fourth house and second house are involved so you will have to strengthen your relationship your bond with your family members and your mother especially okay so Lagnesh in second this could also be a good time for marriage so second house shows expansion so you are expanding basically so your knowledge base your wealth your family and all this is expanding okay or you might go for a new home purchase you know because the fourth lord is also in your second so this is like saying your you are buying a new asset basically which is realistic all right so gemini uh, good luck with this transit focus on stability and try to earn money from any kind of mercurial sources like consulting if you get or else try to consolidate your assets all right all the best gemini now we go to cancer so cancer what's going on this transit is in your 12th uh is in your first house of course uh he's mercury is your 12th lord and he's your third lord so 12th lord third lord transiting in lagna this may be the time for withdrawal okay so you need to you need to understand why you are stressed out there, there could be some stress which could come see because mercury is coming from the 12th house and he might bring some stress in the first house but the 12th house stress is more of like a physical you know expenditure and the first house stress which you have now will be more of like a mental stress okay so if you feel that you are stressed out or you cannot you are not able to express yourself properly you're not able to communicate properly then maybe it's some time you, you you take some time off okay it's very important then you will also need to do introspection you will need to check what's going right and what's going wrong in your life okay so focus on self development you might have some expenditure related to your body you know you might buy some supplements protein powder medicines and all this you know some so anything related to personal physical development or you want to improve your personality in general mercury is the karka for skill and languages so you might learn a new language or you may want to develop your public speaking abilities okay there could be short distance travels because the third and the 12th are the um, houses of travel okay so it could be short distance or long distance depending on what your dasha is indicating okay so in general cancer try to uh, be more introspective try to travel withdraw if required and have some necessary expenditure upon yourself for good reasons all right take care now we go to leo lagna so what's going on leo leo mercury is a very important planet for you he rules all the money in your chart okay <laughs> he is ruling the fifth house the 11th house and the second house and the transit unfortunately for you is in your 12th house so 11th lord second lord the planet the one planet that controls two money houses is going to a dustana house so there could be increased expenditure or you might want to do some charity okay or you might want to have a luxurious travel you know it could be the case so uh, if you if you are uh, if you feel that there are some things which you have to buy you know for some reason uh, and you know you you can buy it anytime so maybe this is the time you buy okay because currently the yoga says there will be some expenditure so if you have to buy some furniture or anything you know where you know, which which is a necessary expense okay uh, not a wasteful expense like you know buying some luxury product okay so if there is a good expenditure that is that is destined to come then well you may you may do it now okay and because this transit is in the 12th house you might have to let go of some expectation that you always had okay now what that is that will depend on the dasha but this could be the case and on the good side uh, there could be achievements which you might have from you know traveling to some foreign country foreign lands okay very important 
there could be investments in overseas ventures okay so very important so if you get a foreign opportunity use it okay so leos have expenditure but make sure it is controlled let go of attachments and travel abroad for the new financial opportunity provided you find it okay or you can also try to find you know you don't have to wait for any new opportunity to come all right all the best leos take care virgo your lagnesh and 10th lord is transiting your 11th house that's it let's go to libra <laughs> Lagnesh, 10th Lord, transiting the 11th. Just crush it, man. Just, just kill it. <laughs> Whatever goals, hope, aspiration, wishes, desires you have, you know, professional networking, social circles, career, social connections, you know, like long-term goals, desires, just crush it. Just finish it. End it. <laughs> so there's nothing else for me to say because this is a time where you will get all-around success depending on what your dasha says so use it for rising in your profession of course you may say you know the duration is very short you know oh, yeah what will happen you know not that great maybe but you, know, you need to understand that transits act as triggers for dashas okay so, for example, if your dasha is indicating you will get some new job, then this is the time it can happen. And when moon is also transiting your first house, second house, sixth house, tenth house, eleventh house, then it can happen. Okay. So, Virgo, nothing much to discuss. Go all out, go all in on your profession, and you will be successful. Thumbs up. All right. Congratulations. You are the winner for this transit. <laughs> all the best, Virgos. So now we go to Libra Lagna, your ninth lord and your twelfth lord is transiting your tenth house. Fantastic position. This is the time where you need to take a strong resolution on your professional life. Okay. What do you want to do? You know, there could be positive developments, there could be foreign opportunities that come. And uh, you could get name fame because of some reason. There is increased chances of recognition and success through hard work. You know, there could be some awards which you might get, okay. Um, and also it could happen that within your um, job, you might need some certification, okay. Because ninth Lord Mercury is transiting your 10th. And 12th Lord Mercury uh, can bring some expenditure because of your business, okay. So you might have some business expenses. <clears throat> so that's a great period phenomenal period but just be mindful of your expenses and this is as good as transit for all the virgos okay so virgo and libra you win this transit congratulations wish you all the best take care make the best use of this period upskill yourself learn more dedicate yourself to your profession and develop your leadership abilities and you will be very successful all right take care libra so now we go to Scorpio. Scorpio Mercury is the is a very important planet for you. He's a Dustana Lord, but he's also the eleventh Lord. Okay, so it means he can give you massive gains, you know, through unearned money. Okay, he can give you massive unearned money through sources like you know inheritance, lottery, and all this. Okay, but this transit is in your ninth house, which is again good and bad at the same time. Now inherently this is a great transit okay but because uh, the eighth lord is transiting your nine so you might sometimes get some doubt on your spiritual practices okay you might start to doubt your guru your guide your counselor you may think oh is he or she the right person to guide me or not okay so these are things which might uh, pinch you sometimes okay so therefore Stay true to your commitments, to your uh, spiritual community, to your gurus, to your guides, your counselors, your mentors. And focus on your spiritual growth, okay? And 11th Lord transiting the ninth great time to associate more with the spiritual community. Or with any kind of uh, community that motivates you to become a better person, not maybe just a spiritual community. Because 
this is a time where you can elevate your consciousness beyond material okay you can go to the spiritual level and luck might be on your side okay so therefore you can have gains uh, through learned individuals through spiritual personalities so for you focus on doing research and networking and learning more the only mantra for you is to learn 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 all right these are three mantras learn 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 grow yourself elevate yourself okay and move towards spiritual perfection okay all the best scorpios now we go to sagittarius sagittarius what's going on sagittarius lord of your seventh house and tenth house is transiting your eighth house tenth lord transiting the eighth there could be some deep transformation in your career if your dasha is not very good or if your dasha is very bad there could be loss of job okay i'm not trying to create fear but i'm just warning you in case you are in probation or you no know, somebody is giving you hints you know maybe things are not very good your performance is not up to the mark then and if your dasha is bad there could be loss of job or there could be transformation in the sense like the uh, your company decides to shift you to some other project okay so these kind of things could happen and there could be some sudden uh, gains also if your dasha is good so this is the plus side okay so or you may go to some other place totally different or you may start learning some other technology or you, you may start to learn another domain itself okay to totally completely different okay so your partnerships could also undergo some transformation so your married life also so therefore um, you could also develop a lot of interest in occult sciences okay mercury is the karaka for learning and teaching and all this uh, learning primarily so mercury's transit in eighth house can make you very interested in astrology okay so therefore if you are facing any problem in your profession or in your married life please take it seriously try to solve it and uh, make sure you are eating right and you are not wasting too much time in the night okay try to sleep by 9 30 or 10 because the eighth house can make your mind go crazy sometimes all right so sagittarius um maybe you are the only ascendant where i have to say maintain caution all right all the best sagittarius now we go to capricorn what's going on capricorn your sixth lord ninth lord is transiting your seventh house sixth lord the lord of enemies <laughs> debts uh, legal court cases uh, hidden enemies okay and ninth house lord uh, luck higher education spirituality transiting the seven thousand partnerships and marriage it's a very weird transit weird because i won't say weird but uh, they are like you know a bit opposite in the sense you know because the sixth house denies or creates trouble in your married life and the ninth house helps you in your marriage so that means now it's a time where depending on your behavior you will either screw up your marriage or you will enhance your married life okay but what is certain is that you need to put more energy and attention in understanding your married life and you know understanding your partnerships you know try to do ne proper negotiation try to understand what is their uh, what are their needs interests and concerns if you can do this that will be great and there could be uh, some legal issues which could come okay uh, because six lot transiting in the seventh house could give you you know it's like hidden enemy becoming an open enemy that is the probability okay so therefore um, on the good side there could be better opportunities to travel um, abroad for higher education for new partnerships and if your dasha is indicating the 12th house you may travel to a foreign country because uh, you might feel that yeah you know now is the time that uh, i need to go there and invest something okay invest not just money my time and attention and efforts so therefore capricorn depending on your behavior and your dashas you will either make or break relationships okay so the good thing is ninth lord is also mercury so 
if you have any problems then try to seek a guru guide or a counselor okay uh, who can help you and then you will be benefited and don't mess with people unnecessarily this is a very strong recommendation from my side all right don't mess around unnecessarily okay unless somebody messes with you <laughs> all right capricorn wish you all the best now we go to aquarius lord of the fifth and the eighth transiting in the sixth house hmm. again a challenging transit okay so for aquarius fifth lord shows your uh, education uh, your uh, knowledge your wisdom you know, your creativity your love romance and eighth house shows your transformation occult um, and um, things that you don't like to admit <laughs> so this transit is happening in your sixth house which is the house of enemies you know dead legal battles court cases health problems diseases so please be mindful of your health okay if your dasha is indicating there could be problems in your health, then this is the time it might be triggered. So, if required, if you feel that you ha you are having some health problem, then don't pretend to yourself. So there's no problem. Okay, go and get a checkup done. Please, please go and get the checkup done. If there's nothing, then that's great. But if there is some problem, you need to act on it. Okay. And on the positive side, fifth law transiting sixth, uh, this could be a good time to uh, do problem solving and uh, be a bit innovative with your solutions. So you should now be more interested in your health and your fitness and your wellness activities. Okay, that's very important. Otherwise, things can go haywire. Okay, because sixth, eighth, huh, not the best thing. And you might also lose money in, you know, stock trading and all this. Okay, so be very careful before you do stock trading and all this. Because the 5th and the 8th show stock market trading. Okay. And 6th house can also award you with money. But for this, for you to get money from the stock market with this transit, your dasha has to be exceptionally good. Otherwise, 90% chances are you will lose the money. So you need to be careful. Okay. So therefore, Aquarius, focus on practical application. Learn things through logic. Have discipline. Focus on your health and I'm sure you will do good. And be careful with stock market. Right? All the best. Last but not the least, as always, Pisces, your fourth lord, seventh lord is transiting fifth house. This is a great transit for you. The fourth house shows, you know, your home, mother, your real estate, your vehicle, your... Uh, safe assets your safe bets <laughs> and seventh house shows your partnerships marriage and fifth house where this transit is is your love your it's like the vision of your life so there could be enhanced creativity and you know you could pursue things at an intellectual level not just on the level of information but you know trying to see things beyond what they appear so there could be opportunities for romantic relationships or improving your existing relationships okay, with your children. So for you, it's very simple. No complication. Just have fun with your family and your spouse. Okay, So this is all Pisces that you need to know. Uh, but the only, the only challenge that you might face here is that you are trying to do something with too much of logic. Okay, So because of that, what is happening is Things are not working out. So if you are behaving too much logically, then you have to understand that sometimes your family members may say or do things at an emotional level. Okay, so you have to understand that logic is important, but it's not the end of all. Okay, so because the fifth house, as you know, is uh, Dharma Trikon and, you know, it can make you too much logical sometimes. Okay, this is one uh, danger with fifth house Mercury. But nonetheless, there's nothing to worry there. Uh, you you use your logic, but also don't forget you are dealing with human beings. All right. So wish you all the best. Uh, Pisces, take care. All right. Thank you so much for your patience.